All right, guys, welcome traders. Uh, we have uh, BTC breaking to hit uh, tag the $30,000 mark, and I have not provided an update in over a week, so I wanted to do that real quickly to let you all know what I'm seeing here in the crypto space. All right, so as I said, BTC looks like it wants to take that $30,000 mark. We are in major resistance area right now. I'm going to zoom out real quickly and let you know where I see this $30,000 uh, level coming from. This comes all the way back from Friday, the 1st of January, 2021. That's when we uh, popped above it and we had used it as support for the following year and a half. And then right around that level, we stuck and stayed for a period of, oh, it must have been about four weeks here. Looks like about a month. And then the whole uh, Luna fiasco happened and that took us down to... Uh, nearly our low at 17,000. Um, so that $30,000 area is very significant. And also because we had so much uh, trading and volume in that area, it is going to provide serious resistance. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't see us just breaking through that, guys. I think... Um, as I said all along, we are going to come back down and retest this neckline for this cup and handle pattern. Uh, I just didn't know whether we were going to take 30,000 prior to doing that or after we do that. All right, so it looks like 30,000 is now in the books practically. I mean, the wick up is, is almost there. So that almost counts as a 30,000 tag, yeah, 29,000, almost 800. I uh, could go a little bit higher and take that 30,000, but now is when we draw back. So what I am trying to decide for myself at this point is do I take my profits in the altcoin space and hold and wait? Because uh, if I am, Considering this drawback to the uh, neckline, a retest of the neckline on Bitcoin, then what tends to happen is altcoins exaggerate that. Uh, to get a few more answers, let's just take a look at our BTC dominance chart. And you can see I have two areas of resistance here. The first one, the red area, is something we've tagged quite a few times in the last few years. The orange area, we rarely make it into, at least for the last uh, two or three years. Uh, but when we do, a, you know, Bitcoin crashes hard in terms of dominance. So what that could indicate for the altcoin space, like the uh, larger cap especially, uh, it tends to trickle down from Bitcoin to Ethereum larger cap altcoins than the smaller cap or medium size and smaller cap so on and so forth um, that's generally the way it works but what this could indicate uh, again i don't see us just popping straight through that in terms of bitcoin dominance um, so it could mean it's time for ethereum and the uh, especially the larger to mid cap altcoins uh, market to pop Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at our total two to see what's happening here. As you can see, I've got an inverse head and shoulders pattern drawn. I've had that for quite some time. I'm waiting for a break. Let's zoom in and see where we are here. And we have broken above that neckline, but we did that before a few days ago and did not get confirmation. The next candle opened and closed below. All right. so. I like to see one and on crypto two days of confirmation uh, candles that both open and close above that neckline. Uh, that has not happened yet. Uh, what could happen here is Bitcoin tags at 30,000, comes back down, and the altcoins follow. They tend to exaggerate any move uh, Bitcoin has on the downside. Uh, 
and that could bring uh, the whole altcoin space down below that neckline once again so this is where um, I've got some decisions to make uh, I'm gonna pull up my portfolio here into this uh, window and I'll show you now I exited XRP just uh, a while ago you guys got that post uh, because we were coming into uh, resistance okay so it's very tempting to exit now I'm all green on all my tra trades and um, you know as far as the tracker goes the last one two three four five six seven eight nine ten trades have been wins uh, so this could set me up for another one two three four five six uh, wins uh, so that we have 16 wins in a row on our ten thousand dollar a trap uh, uh, portfolio um, those of you who have been following me know that we're trying to turn this ten thousand dollars into at least a hundred thousand in five years I've got uh, the number of one million dollars uh, in my uh, eyesight and I'd like to be able to do that uh, and that's what we're attempting to do here all right so uh, the coins that I'm in right now are audio, which surprisingly, yes, but it just looked attractive uh, in terms of technical, so I, I did put that on my list. Matic, Ethereum, Doggy Coin, Algo, and ApeCoin. All right, so now let's uh, drag this back down to my other screen and concentrate on those alts and see what I see here. So Ethereum. As the first one I'd like to track, we've broken above this neckline on this inverse head, head and shoulders pattern. Could come back down and retest that neckline, all right? And that would correlate with the Bitcoin drawback that I'm expecting. If Bitcoin draws back to the $25,200 mark, which I still do expect that, although I see this now. Our 50 day is moving up into that area so maybe we just come back and tag that 50 day I am not real sure at this point but I do expect a drawback I don't expect us to just break through this resistance area guys uh, not without quite a bit of uh, effort on the bull side uh, quite a bit of time and there's a lot of volume in there and um, that is definitely major resistance and so probability still stands on our side for a drawback all right and again if bitcoin draws back to that 25200 ethereum very well could draw back to this neckline which is right now around 1730 and rising maybe a little bit lower than that uh, but that's around the area that we could draw back uh, to all right, so some of the other alts I have in my sites. Now, these are coins that I have not entered yet. Uh, Polkadot, XRP, I exited. And the reason why, as I posted earlier, is we are up into this area of resistance here, this level of resistance at 50 cents, as well as this ascending trend line. All right, so we're pushing right up into that. There's three areas of support that I drew uh, way back a couple weeks ago. Uh, now those two of those areas are now acting as resistance that is this ascending trend line and this level here the other one is going to act as support uh, so I do see that we could come back down to 48 cents or lower on XRP and have another good area to re-enter I am no hurry to trade this thing I've been trading it very well every trade I've made has been a win the last Five or six trades have all been great wins. Uh, biggest one was when we bought at 36 cents and sold way up here. Uh, that was our, our best trade on that. But we'll get plenty more opportunities with XRP. I promise you that. LTC has just not come down to a level I'm comfortable entering. So I will continue to wait on that one. I want it down to I wanted to really touch that 200 day again. I don't know if it's going to do that or not. But I'll just keep it on my list and watch for that because if we do hit that 200-day uh, moving average, that is an excellent area to enter into LTC. Uh, Solana, I uh, have this inverse head and shoulders pattern again. So you, you see this reoccurring pattern on all of these alts. And here again, we're uh, 
inverse head and shoulders we're just trying to break that neckline right now not real sure how this candle is going to close because we got the 50 day and 200 up ahead this is a big resistance a huge area of, of confluence here so um we're going to need to break all three really on on quite a dramatic move i'm not in any hurry to enter into this until we do that algo i'm in and we're coming up into resistance that's this descending trend line here so actually to take some risk off the table and take some profits i'm gonna probably go ahead and sell algo here tonight uh, right after this video uh, stay tuned for that uh, let me close this out um ada ada have got again an inverse notice the uh repeating patterns here guys this is you know cup and handle inverse head and shoulders this is all i'm seeing on all of these altcoin charts and eventually these will break now ada i am not in yet cardano because i want to see us rise up to this neckline and break it once we break that neckline i'm in although it's looking very good and very tempting being that we are above the 50 day and 200 day moving average uh ape ape coin is one i'm in reason i'm still in this is because this is big support here at 422 all right and so we've you can see uh, i drew this out many many months ago but you can see this whole area here has acted as resistance and support now this latest green candle is above it and so we are going to use that as support so i stay in this until i find a reason to exit and i have no reason to exit right now uh we do have some resistance up ahead with uh and a you know bear cross uh uh with the 50 day crossing below the 200 day but that is a lagging indicator and i never really take that too seriously uh, uh, although it will provide some resistance uh, overall i'm going to see if i can hold this to five dollars uh pending you know price action here we got to find out what bitcoin is going to decide to do and if the altcoins are going to follow and exaggerate that move as they usually do uh, audio here i talked about being in this this is a bull flag and we're currently popping above that i could draw that flag out for you if you need me to but basically that looks like a little triangle there on the daily and um, we have just risen above it all right so there's a little bull flag there for you i'm going to hold that one for a while we'll see maybe maybe not ish i change my mind all the time on this uh pending price action matic is always a good one i wanted it to see you know i wanted to see us come down to that 200 day could not do it and as you can see here i have a bull flag i entered just before we exited that and have done well on that matic's always a good one to hold especially their uh, you know uh, affiliation with disney disney knows how to make money like crazy and so matic will do well and you can see it is above this ascending trend line has been above it since june of 2022 so for a full year all right and then we have uh, doggy coin all right so doggy coin i entered as soon as we touched that 200 day moving average that's what i want to see on some of the other ones as well as you know uh however we do have some resistance up ahead this trend line here is going to act as resistance and so i'm getting mixed signals here overall on whether the altcoin market is actually going to pop well uh you know bitcoin takes a break or not um it's still too early for me to tell i mean if i jump back here to the total i mean we're right on the border i don't know whether that's going to wick that's just going to be a wick above that neckline or whether the body is actually going to close and are we going to have a new candle open and close above that i don't know um little overweighted in altcoins right now so as i said i am probably going to take algo off the table for now just take my capture my profits being that we are coming up into that resistance area i will see about the other ones for now i'm going to hold them but i'm going to take algo off the table uh stay tuned and i'll keep you up to date on this market guys all right hopefully all of that helps and uh, until the next video, peace y'all.